Hi guys! So, good news. I am getting a rabbit. I know. Um, so, what happened was, first of all, this was not planned. It was an impulse, but it wasn't planned. Uh, so I have a lot of animals that I really want in the future um, when I move out and I have the finances to take care of them. Uh, bunnies were not on that list, <laughs> but uh, so here's what happened. Um, someone I know has come to the mature realization that once they move they will no longer be able to care and provide the necessary attention that the rabbit requires because rabbits require a lot a lot of attention um so they contacted me initially asking if i knew anyone who wanted the rabbit and um i did a little bit of research and then i came to the conclusion that like i wanted the rabbit <laughs> so i told them and now, ever since then, I've just been researching, researching, researching every day, all day. I'm not going to focus too much on why the rabbit is coming to me or their personal situation. All I know is that the rabbit is coming to a good home and it's going to get lots of love and care and in the end that's all that matters. So, uh, the only thing that I want to say about like when you get a new animal is that you should research your booty off like research 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 there is a ton of information out there for each and every animal that you get um, and care for even if you're an expert there's still lots of things to learn uh, keep an open mind um, say so yeah, that and then second is just to be sure that you can give them everything they require all the time, all the money, and all the care. Um, those are the three things that you should not jip an animal on. Time-wise, uh, I'm in college, but right now I am on summer break, and then the following, or the upcoming semester, I am doing mainly online classes, and then work-wise, I get to actually choose my own work schedule, which is really nice. Um, so the time thing, not an issue over here. And then for money, again, I have a job, so I'm able to care financially for this rabbit. Rabbits are expensive. Um, not the actual rabbit per se, but the initial setup, all the food, the vet bills. Rabbits do need to go to the vet. And then with this rabbit, um, we are unsure if it's a male or a female. That's something I'm going to have to figure out once the rabbit gets here. Um, so clearly it hasn't been spayed or neutered because we would know what it is then. Um, so that's a finance that I'm going to have to take care of. Uh, and then care, you know, just making sure that you can give it everything that it needs and make sure it's not just surviving but that it's thriving. And you know, as long as you're doing the best that you can, then you know, that, that animal will have a good life. So. That's all I'm going to preach on for that subject. Um, really, I just want this video to be about the setup and getting prepared for a new rabbit. All the things I've gotten so far, all the things I'm going to get, which I am going to take you along with me on that shopping trip. Um, yeah, so like I said, I've just been researching a lot, but I've also been going shopping. Um, on Tuesday, I went to uh, Petco and Goodwill. And then Wednesday I went to PetSmart, and then um, Thursday I didn't shop anywhere. I was just cleaning this room, which this is the room that the rabbit's going to be staying in. Um, I was cleaning it, preparing it. I also have my gecko in here, so I guess you could say that they're going to be roommates. So that's what I did on Thursday and then today, which you guys will see what I'm getting as we go along. So yeah, everything has pretty much been accumulated throughout the week. There's a few things coming in online too. If they get here today, great, I can show you guys. If not, I'll show you when they do come in. But without further ado, let's uh, get right into it. So, starting off, uh, this box, by the way, is something for the rabbit too. I know, right? Like, 
storage and a bunny toy. Wow. <laughs> well, at my job, um, we come across a lot of empty boxes, so um, they said it's totally fine if I want to bring some boxes home for this rabbit. My coworkers are just as excited for this rabbit as I am, and I've already had a few offers for bunny sitters, so that's great. Um, so what I'm going to do with this box is just cut some holes in the side, maybe like one here and one there. Um, just as like a little hidey box and then also something the rabbit can chew um, as much as it wants. And then to start off, uh, I got some plates and these are going to be veggie plates so all the fresh vegetables are going to be put on here. Uh, this one is just a square plate. Um, this one is green, it has lily pads on it which I thought was so cute. So whenever one gets dirty, then I'll just switch it for the other one while I'm cleaning the one that I took out. And then, yeah, that's uh, that's what they're for. They came from the thrift store. <laughs> they came from the thrift store. Um, rabbits don't need brand new plates, so those I think will work just fine. And then the other thing I got from the thrift store is fleece. Lots and lots and lots of fleece. Uh, and I'm probably going to still have to get more fleece because I, my plan is to use it to line the cage and the playpen. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, and I don't really know, I have to ask, um, but if the rabbit is litter trained, if it's not, then there are going to be a lot of accidents, which, um, yeah, we'll have to work on litter training, but you know, that's okay, but that just means I need to grab a few more just in case any accidents happen. This first one is blue and it's kind of got like a bubbly texture on it. And let's see, it's uh, double lined, so it's got this blue fleece on the side and then it's lined with that pattern on the back. And I think this is some kind of like baby cover, like crib cover or. This is, oh, okay, so it's a car seat canopy. I don't know, but it works for a bunny, so <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. I'll probably end up cutting off these buttons and stuff, to, that way it doesn't get chewed. Um, so there's that one. And then there's this big blue one, and this one's really big, so I'm not going to unravel it all, but it's just plain blue. And then there's just this gray one. Again, this one's pretty big. And um, yeah, I recommend if you're going to do fleece to line uh, cages or play pens, then I really recommend going to Goodwill to get your material because, you know, instead of paying at Joann's or Walmart or Michael's, which some of them do come out with pretty good coupons, but um, I got these, I think they were like $1.99. So I think the blue car seat canopy thing, that one was like $2.99, so really recommend getting them from like a secondhand store. So, and then all I did was just sanitize them in the washer, gave them a good wash, and then yeah, they'll, they'll be ready for the bunny. And then these ones, so they were in a bag when I popped them, and I thought that they were like full blankets, and I didn't think they were very big blankets, but I still thought they were some kind of a blanket, and um, yeah. <laughs> so I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do with these. And then my initial thought was, oh, I'll just throw them into like a dig box and the rabbit can have a go at them. But then I found this one, which was like a almost started kind of blanket. And I was like, oh my gosh, yes, that's perfect. Let's just hand make a little blanket or two for the bunny so that's what I'm gonna do and he'll probably end up chewing these I'll have to watch and make sure he's not ingesting it but uh, yeah I'll probably insert a video of me putting these together because I think that'd be fun uh, I just got it in blue and then there's also pink and purple stars um, yeah like I said I don't really know if this rabbit is a male or a female um, but bunnies don't care about gender rules so I'm going to get them whatever color I find, blue, pink, whatever other color I find available. And yeah, so that's it for like the fleece 
Some liners. Oh, and so the plan is like, I'm going to, on the bottom, going to put absorbent pads on there just in case there's any accidents, especially with the play pen that's going to be on the carpet. Um, and then put the fleece on top of that. And then the litter box hopefully will deter any accidents, but you never know. And then, moving on to a fun one. It's the toys. I, know. I had a lot of fun shopping for these ones. So, the toys are pretty sparse right now. And the reason for that is because I don't really know, like, how much is coming with the rabbit. And by the way, yeah, that is something to note. Um, there are things coming with the rabbit, so I didn't buy much. Um, like the food and water bowls, the hay rack, the shelter, like the little hidey houses, um, more toys, grooming tools, nail clippers. Those are all coming with the rabbits, so I don't think I need to go out and buy new ones of those. Um, but I don't know how many of what is coming. Like I think um, the rest of the hay is coming and then the rest of the food. I don't know how much is left of either of those, so I'm going to... I'm definitely going to go and buy more food and more hay, but for toys wise, I just want to see what the rabbit has. Um, that way, you know, I can go and get whatever he doesn't have and it's not a big deal going and getting more toys. So, uh, starting off, so this one is just a cat scratcher, a cat post, mini post or something like that. Uh, and the rope, perfect for bunnies, um, he can or she can destroy it, I don't care, any of these they can destroy. That's what they're meant for. Uh, this one right here is a play mat that came from Petco. Uh, it's hay and again, gonna get chewed up. That's okay. Uh, and then right here, this is a baby rattle. I think it's so funny to buy baby toys for your rabbit. Uh, it's got like little, kind of like mimics a key ring a little bit and then that one rolls. So I don't know if every Goodwill does this, but at mine there's like a big wall that's a bag your own and you can bag your own toys and it's like five for 99 and then 10 for like a dollar something. Um, so yeah, that's what I did. I just did the five for 99 just for now till I see how many toys that he or she comes with themselves. I also got this cup, which I don't know, can throw it around have tea parties, bunny tea parties. This one is a block that spins and it's hard plastic so it should last a while and of course if any of these start getting completely destroyed then they'll just be removed from the cage. And then there's uh, a cat toy with a bell in it. Uh, why a cat toy was in with the baby toys? I don't know, I'm not questioning it. And then, uh, well, I did get this one. It's a wooden block, and I thought it'd be good at first for chewing, but then I realized that the sides are painted, so I'm probably not gonna end up giving this one to him, uh, just because, even if it's non-toxic paint because it is a kid's toy, uh, I just don't wanna risk any ingestion of that, so. But, you know, it was part of the five for 99, so I thought I'd just show it. And then, the last one is, like, this stick bundle. I got this one from Petco, too. This one is Willow Sticks, and you can definitely make these at home, a DIY. I don't really have very many bunny safe trees, so I'd rather just buy these ones um, just to be safe. But yeah, that is it for toys. And then the last thing I've got so far is, let me see if I can bring it over. So this is yesterday's news. It's recycled paper, which awesome. This one was $19.99, so $20. And I wish I knew at the time, but I think uh, pet stores carry like their own brand of this, like recycled paper pellets. So you probably could save a little bit of money there um, just getting the store brand. Yeah, and that's what I have so far. I do have a pet carrier coming in, which I know, ridiculous, but <laughs> not really, but um, it's a dog purse, <laughs> and I would never actually put a dog in there, but bunny, yeah. But for the pet carrier, the dog purse, 
It's not really a purse, it's bigger than a purse, but it is great because, like I said, rabbits do have to go to the vet about once a year. And then, of course, in the near future, not right away, just because I know the rabbit's going to be stressed for a while just because it's getting a new home, new environment, new owner. So, not right away, but soon-ish, I'm going to have to take the bunny to get fixed. So that carrier is perfect, and yeah, I'm, I don't know, I'm actually kind of excited for it, so yeah. Uh, it was almost a bunny stroller, but I didn't, I kept myself from that one. Maybe in the future, maybe. <laughs> we'll see. Um, yeah, that's it to show you guys for now. I hope you guys enjoy this montage of this shopping trip. <laughs> footage but I only picked up uh, two items only and what ended up happening with Petco is the same thing they were out of the Oxbow adult rabbit food and I think what happened is maybe they're switching it out for that new like garden select variety of the food and that's I'm not interested in that one so I ended up ordering a 10 pound bag off of Amazon as well as a 9 pound bag of orchard hay. So those will be coming in soon. And then the pet carrier did get delayed which is unfortunate but should be here within the next day or two. 
Uh, what I did end up getting from Ross though, uh, one was the pet tunnel, which she saw in the basket. This one was $4.99. It's a crunchy one, so it makes noise. Alright, uh, so I'm gonna open it up. Ooh. Yeah, that's uh, pretty long. It's three feet. And then the other item that I got was just a scratch board, cat scratcher. It was $3.99. Yeah, that's pretty much all for now. The bunny comes tomorrow morning. Super excited.